And Imani Cheers is Assistant Professor of Media and Public Affairs at Georgetown, uh, George Washington University here in Washington. She joins me to discuss the effects of social media and ways to pull the plug. I note that you just had to put your own cell phone away to do I this seg segment, Imani. <laughs> I did. And I I'm not trying sure to shame you, but it just shows how <laughs> difficult it is to put it down, Constantly, right? Constantly, definitely. So is making spending quality time actually a game on a phone really were really the solution to <laughs> spending more time with our families? Um, I think it's just another way to get people who are already engaged and involved on their phones a fun opportunity for them to spend time off their phones. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone. Um, I actually have the app. I had the app before. Um, it came out in March. And it's another way for me also to just realize that, hey, you know what? Go and spend some time with your son. I have a two and a half year old um, who is definitely the highlight of my day. So it, it gives me focus, right? It says, um, my favorite part of the app is the suggestion for activities. Mm. Um, depending on where you are and the age of your child, it will let you know if there's a park nearby or if there's a story time at the library. And I think that's really helpful. You know, that actually sounds really appealing, that part, trying to give you new ideas maybe Definitely. of ways to spend time yes, with Yes, and most of them are free, but there is a section for paid um, activities and paid dinner outs and other things. So it's a lot of fun. So overall, what have we seen in terms of the impact of social media on families? Is it separating it? Us? Is it dividing? I mean, I, I hear families ha have a rule they have to put the yes. cell phone in the middle of the, table, the table for dinner. For dinner. Yeah, I know people who do that. I also know people who there's a the bowl for phones as you walk yes. into their house and you have to leave it there until you Even until restaurants are doing this now. Yeah, and I think it's really important. Um, there's a really cute um, commercial that's out right now where a family is preparing dinner and everyone's sort of chatting and, and snapping their pictures and posting their Instagram. And it's just kind of making fun of where we are right now in society and in technology. On the one hand, social media is amazing, okay? Everything in moderation, right? Similar to our little glasses of wine in the evening. Um, but it's really interesting to see the way in which apps are finding um, an interesting segue into our daily lives that really remind us to do everything from sleeping, um, exercising more, and in particular, spending more quality time with your children. There is an impact, though, on social skills for young, sure. young people, especially, who have never grown up with any other form of communication. Definitely. I mean, it's one of the things that I think about all the time in, in my own family and with my own son, because it's really, you know, I want him to be able to pick up a book and not realize that you swipe every time <laughs> you read something. But it's really, I think it's a way in which social media can connect us, um, but it also can separate us very easily, because you go any place and you'll look down and everyone's, you know, focused on their phone. Um, so an app that really p it gives push notifications Hey, put your phone down, right? As soon as you touch the app, like you've been home. Um, I'd read a really great book, Shonda Rhimes, her um, Say Yes early this year. And she had a really amazing section in the book where mm. she says um, that she's going to say yes to spending more time with her kids and sitting down. And she's going to take, you know, there's nothing wrong with her. One of her children asked her to do something. Minimum of 15 minutes, she's going to focus. And it's similar to what the app does, where it just makes it a conscious effort. Um, and on the one hand, it's kind of sad that we're at this point in society where you need a conscious effort to remind you to read your child um, a good night story. But at the same time, I think that's just where we are. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I actually think it's a really good thing. Because one of the things we're seeing is that some young people are having trouble actually communicating verbally with each other because they're Definitely. texting all the time. So yeah. isn't it kind of the per parents' responsibility 100%. in this case to make that time to communicate verbally, to say, hey, this is this is how you communicate most right. of the time. Yes, I, I completely agree. I, I'm a firm believer with um, there's so many people texting in shorthand so that when you ask them to write an essay. Oh, yeah, spelling is out spelling the window. Spelling the window, grammar, <laughs> all of these things are completely gone. But I do think that with this app in particular and the way in which social media is coming, um, that everything in moderation and, and Oh Daddy, is it's a really good way if you just want a fun opportunity um, to help you find interesting things to do with your children. Are you seeing social media bring new meaning in any particular parts of life uh, oh, to families, totally. whether it's sharing pictures or memories? How are you seeing it positively impact people? Oh, 100%. I think, and, and it's so scary to say that millennials are like, we're not on Facebook anymore. That's for like Generation X and Y and whatever letter <laughs> so we're giving passe. it. <laughs> so passe. But I find it, I find it really helpful because uh, everything from weddings to um, milestones in people's lives, whether it be graduation or birth of their children, and um, it's really gives us a great way to stay connected with people that they might not call you and say, hey, we just had a new baby, mm -hmm. or I just got a promotion at my job. But using social media, you can sort of post those and mm -hmm. celebratory events, and then other people can join in with you. And I think that's what's really connecting us all. Because again, people that you might have went to high school with or, or were colleagues at you know a workplace at some point, and now you're able to, to stay connected and, and celebrate some of their milestones. Imani, cheers. Thank you for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, we thank appreciate you so your much, time. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.